If you have a faceless YouTube channel and are making short form as well as long form videos and want to get monetized, then you definitely need to avoid getting copyright strikes. This usually happens when you upload a copyrighted video and audio or even a copyrighted background music. If this is you, then I have a solution. I will show you an AI tool which can not only translate any video into another language, but can also generate fresh background music tracks according to your taste, which you can even use commercially without getting any copyright strikes. The tool I'm talking about is Wondershare Filmora 13. With their newest update, we can use their AI translation feature, bilingual subtitles, access to the library of commercially available audio tracks, and the AI music generator. There are many more AI features of Filmora 13, which I have covered in a separate video. Make sure to check that out later. To start off, let's see how the AI translation feature works. First, click on Import button here and select Import Media Files. Now select the video that you want to translate. After that, you can drag and drop it onto the project timeline. Now let's play the video. This man found $43,000 in a couch he bought at a thrift store. He refused to keep the money for himself. As you can see, this video is originally in US English. Now right click on the video in the timeline and select AI translation. This will open up the AI translation panel. Here you have the option to translate voice and text of the selected video or translate the text only. Then you have to set the target language, which I will set as Spanish, but there are lots of other languages to choose from. In the source language, I will set it as US English. Make sure the auto match option is activated here and now click on Translate button. Now Wondershare Filmora 13 will transcribe the video in its original form and then translate it. After a few seconds, Filmora 13 will add a text subtitles layer in the upper track and an audio file in the bottom. It will also mute the original video so that you can only hear the translated version. And here are the results. El hombre encontró 43,000 en el sofá comprado en la tienda de segunda mano. Se negó a dejar el dinero a sí mismo. Howard Bryant compró un sofá por solo 35 hours in habit. Looks like a perfect quick translated version of the video. Not only that, you can double click on the text layer above to open up the subtitles editor. Here you can see the timestamps and a timeline version of those text sentences. You can drag their edges to increase or decrease the duration of any given sentence and can also change text in any particular section. Moreover, click on the animation tab at the top to apply some animation to the text. You can apply different animations for text in and text out, along with the ability to set the animation duration with this slider. By clicking on the Customize tab, you can stylize the text by changing the text color, adding shadow, outline, background, etc. After that, make sure to click on Apply to All button here to apply the effects on all the text in this timeline. You also have the option to save your text style as a preset. If you still want to save some time, just click on the Preset tab at the top, and choose from a variety of different text styles. Custom Presets is where your own saved text styles is located. Just double click on it to apply to the text. Once done, click on the Save button to save the changes. By going to the Effects panel, there is a huge library of video effects which you can apply on the video to make it a bit different than the original. These effects also help in avoiding the copyright strikes because you are modifying the original UGC video. Just drag any of the effects and drop on the video in the timeline. Then click on the video to select it and click on the effects tab here to adjust that effect. El hombre encontró 43,000 en el sofá comprado en la tienda de segunda mano. Se negó a dejar el dinero a sí mismo. Howard Bryant compró un sofá por solo 35 hours in habit. Now let's see how the bilingual subtitles work in Filmora 13. Let's suppose you have a simple video with speech on it. I've been a fan of Rolex for a very long time. The watch that I'm wearing right now is my first Rolex that I got in 2019. Simply right click on the video in the timeline and select speech to text option. The speech to text parameters panel will open up. First, you need to set the original language of the video. In my case, I'm going to select US English. Next, set the language to which you want to translate your subtitles. For example, Spanish. Next, you have the option to translate only the select video clip, or if you have multiple clips on the timeline, then select the entire timeline sequence. Select the SRT option as the output if you want a single text file in which you can make changes easily as I've shown previously, or select titles option to create smaller fragments of text files on the timeline. And lastly, make sure that the auto match option is selected and click on OK button. In just a few seconds, Wondershare Filmora 13 will transcribe the audio in its original language and then translate and create the text file for the selected language. And here you can see there are two text files, 
One is in original language and one is the translated version. I've been a fan of Rolex for a very long time. The watch that I'm wearing right now is my first Rolex that I got in 2019. You can delete the English version by right-clicking on it and select Delete. If you want to make any changes to the subtitles, simply double-click on the text layer to open up the editing panel and make changes from there, just like we did earlier. Now let's explore the commercial music library and AI music generator in Wondershare Filmora 13. To avoid copyright on your video, you can go to Audio tab from the top and find the best music from here. It's a huge library of commercial music which you can use in your projects with the option to set the mood and genre filters. Simply drag and drop the select music on the project timeline and start editing your video. Similarly, if you still don't like the music from this library, then click on the AI music from the left sidebar and then click on the start button. This opens up the AI music generator panel. From here, you can set the mood, theme, and genre of the music. Set the tempo as low, normal, or high. Set the music duration according to your requirements. Set the number of generated music count, which means the number of different music tracks it will generate with variations for you to choose one from them. Now click on the start button, and within a few seconds, you will see the AI generated music at the right side. Click on the play button here to listen to the music tracks. Once satisfied, you can click on this icon to download that specific music track. Now close this panel, and then click on the generated option from the left sidebar under AI Music. Drag and drop it on your project timeline and make changes from there. I've been a fan of Rolex for a very long time. The watch that I'm wearing right now is my first Rolex that I got in 2019. Once you are done with the changes in editing, simply click on the export button at the top right corner and set a file name and location. Choose the quality as higher and click on export. And your video is ready. So these were some really cool AI updates in Wondershare Filmora 13. Download it from the link in video description and try it for yourself. And if you want to learn more, then check out this detailed video about all the other cool AI features of Wondershare Filmora 13 and I'll see you there.